Nestle's Quick for the greatest tasting chocolate milk. And those famous Nestle's chocolate bars present Space Patrol. <laughs> High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol. In today's transcribed Space Patrol adventure, Buzz and Happy are locked in an airtight chamber on Neptune's third moon by a criminal trying to force them to reveal Space Patrol's secrets. Warshot must be crazy. Just locking us up in here isn't going to make us talk. Listen. Hear that? Oh, yes, sir. Sounds like some sort of a pump. You notice anything about the air in here? Now that you mention it, it... Sort of hard to breathe. And pumping the air out of the chamber. We've only got two choices. Press the alarm button or, or suffocate. We'll return in just a moment with today's exciting Space Patrol adventure, The Red Demon of Venus. Say, Space Patrollers, this is Cadet Happen. If you're like me, you never get enough Nestle's chocolate. Man, that's such sensational, smooth, rich, delicious chocolate. Every bite tastes like more. And you know, there's a way to buy them so you always have more. That's the family pack. Six Nestle's chocolate bars packed together in a swell carton. Tell Mom she'll find them at grocery stores and supermarkets. And they're real money savers, too. There's another way to make sure you have plenty of Nestle bars. That's to buy them big. You can get a ten-cent bar, or bigger still, an economy bar, and bigger yet, a tremendous king-size bar. That's the one I like best because it's so thick. Now, the ten-cent economy and king-size bars, as well as those neat family packs, come in all three of Nestle's terrific flavors. Smooth, creamy milk chocolate in the red and white wrappers, milk chocolate with toasty almonds in the blue and white wrap, and, of course, that crispy, crunchy, wonderful crunch bar in the red and blue wrap. Whichever you like best, Treat yourself to Nestle's in a great big way. I'm sure you'll say just what I do. The more Nestle's, the merrier. And always remember, N-E-S-T-L-E-S, Nestle's makes the very best chocolate. Ooh, what a voice. <laughs> and now, today's Space Patrol adventure, The Red Demon of Venus. Commander Corey and Cadet Happy have landed the Terra 5 on high ground at the center of a small island in the Venus Martian. They're searching for Nelson Tanagru, a Space Patrol secret agent who's not been heard from for three days. Right now, Buzz and Happy make their way through the thick vegetation toward the eastern shore of the island to locate the tiny shack Tanagru has been using as a base of operations. Maybe that gang Tanagru was after located him before he got them. That's something pretty serious or we'd have heard from him. He's got a space of phone. I think I see the shack. That's it. Come on. Oh, the rocket. It's almost underwater. Blood hit worse here than it did at the settlement. You don't think Tanagru got trapped in the shack? Tanagru? Tanagru, are you there? This is Commander Corey. Tanagru! Oh. It came from back there in the brush, to the right. It must be Tanagru. Tanagru! Here, Commander. Let's go, half. There he is in the clearing. Tanagru. Well, I was finished, and then I heard your voice. Don't try to get Just take it easy. What happened? Did that smuggling gang get you? No, no nothing that dramatic. It's a spider bite. Got me in the hand. Oh, it's sure swollen. I'll get you to the ship right away. What kind of a spider was it? It's lying over there by that rock. <laughs> Did you see? I won. Oh, it sure was a big one, and as red as a rocket blast. Yeah. Jumped on me from a tree limb. Thought it was a ball of fire. Felt like it, too. When did this happen? Apparently this morning. Right, right after I killed a spider, I blacked out for a while. I don't feel so bad now, except I can't move. I don't want to frighten you, Tanagru, but you know what kind of spider that is? Uh, I thought I knew everything you crawled or flew in these marshes, but that's a new one on me. A spider's called the red demon of Venus. It's extremely poisonous. Naturalists have thought it was extinct. Well, at least that one is. Tanagru, we've got to get you to Venus City Hospital right away. Give me a hand, Happy. Yes, sir. Hey, wait. I may black out again. Let me tell you what I found out about that gang. They've been operating out of the cell. I can wait. Now, please, Commander. I don't feel better if you let me fill you in. All right, but just the high points. Right. Some of the names on a map of where they hide their looter in a notebook. 
that. I'll get it later. I think they're on to me. I got my jet boat and pulled away from the wharf of the settlement last night. So one of the gang watching me. They didn't follow you here to the island, though? No. When I got back here, I found the shack flooded. Couldn't use a space phone. Sunk the boat and could get at it again. I'm hid here in the clearing. So if they came here to the island, they'd see the shack was submerged and figure you'd gone. Yeah. I was at the settlement for three days. Didn't dare use the space phone there. I'll tell them who might be spying for the gang. All right, tell them. I think we'd better get to the ship. Easy now, Happy. If Tanagru made as comfortable as possible in an aft compartment, Buzz and Happy blast off for Venus City. Buzz loses no time in contacting the hospital by spacophone. He's now waiting for a reply as Happy returns to the control compartment. Tanagru is still conscious, Commander, but he doesn't look too good. Heard from Dr. Bryce yet, sir? Not since that first call, huh? Sure wish there was something we could do. Dr. Bryce says anything we might do now might hinder the regular treatment. Venus City Hospital calling Commander Corey aboard the Terra 5. Uh, Dr. Bryce to Commander Corey. Corey here. Go ahead, Doctor. I have some very bad news, Commander. A single drop of serum here at the hospital. And contact some other hospitals. Try Terra or Mars. I'll try, but I'm sure they haven't any. You see, the Red Demon Spider is found only here on Venus. And there have been no cases reported for over five years. Our records show that the last of our supply of serum was discarded 18 months ago. Discarded? Yes, it becomes ineffective after a certain length of time. Uh, Dr. Somehow. Bryce... You told me that Tanagrew must have treatment within a few hours or the bite will be fatal. That's true, unfortunately. Then what are we going to do? Well, there is one alternative. What is it? We can obtain a blood donation from another victim of that type of spider and inject that blood into Tanagrew's veins. Do you know where we can find such a person? Well, our records show that a patient named Theodore Rorschach was successfully treated here five years ago. Where is he now? I don't know, but I've already ordered a checkmate. Doctor, how much time have we got? I can't say. In some cases, the bite is fatal within a few minutes. In rare instances, well, uh, the longest was 18 hours. Nearly a third of the time's gone already. Doctor, keep trying to locate Rorschach. I'll contact Space Patrol headquarters in Terra and get Master Locator Control on the job. Hurry out. Well, it sure doesn't look good, does it, sir? If Theodore Rorschach is alive, we'll find him. I'll give Locator Control a triple-A priority order and put out an all-planets alert. After that's taken care of, you take the controls till we reach Venus City. I'll be back with Tanagra. Take it easy, Tanner Crew. We'll be landing in Venus City in a few minutes. I never thought a spider might put me on my back a bit. Well, it took a red demon to do it. Yeah. Say, uh, have you had a chance to go over my notebook? Yes. And a great job. The information you've gathered, we can close in on those thieves right away. Well, except we couldn't get a line on who he is. He keeps in the background. When we pull in the gang, we'll make him talk. I've got a favor to ask. When you round them up, I, I want to be in on it. Well, that's going to be up to the doctor. And if he says okay, you can bet we'll be there when you pull him in. Excuse me, Commander. Yes, Happy. You asked me to tell you when we were three minutes from Venus City. Uh, yes, Happy. Thanks. I'll take over. Lieutenant Girl, take it easy. Sure. You bet, Commander. I told you to handle it. Something wrong? Yes, sir. I didn't think I should tell you in front of Tanagru. A report just came in from Terra headquarters on Rorschach. Where is he? Well, they don't know. The last information on him is a year old. Rorschach is wanted. He's a criminal. And he's hiding out. Poor Tanagru. Looks like it's all over with him. You've got to find Rorschach and find him quick. Well, gee, sir, the Mercury headquarters hasn't found him in a year. What chance have we got with just a few hours to go? Get on the controls, Hap. We're in a space phone being the city headquarters. When we land, I want an interplanet relay set up for an emergency message. Meantime, millions of DUs away in Neptune City, two men sit before a spacophone receiver. As the sweep second hand of a clock swings upward, both men grow tense. And one grips his companion's arm. I tell you, Rorschach, it's been on every 15 minutes. Commander Corey himself. Microtape, of course. A and on all the main channels. It's a trap. I know it is. Calm down, Glacier. No use getting excited. It scared the daylights out of me when I first heard it. I expected any minute to hear the space patrol right outside Special that door. Quiet, Glacier. Number 97. All planets alert. Attention, all space patrol units and all citizens of the United Planets. This is the AAA priority bulletin. Please listen carefully. This is your space patrol commander-in-chief, Buzz Corey. What did I tell you, Rorschach? Shut up. I'm addressing every man, woman, and child in the solar system. In particular, I'm addressing Theodore Rorschach. See? Shh. 
Five years ago, you were bitten by a poisonous spider, a red demon of Venus. Your life was saved. Now, Theodore Rorschach, you have the power to save a life as yours was saved. A few drops of your blood, that's all that stands between life and death for a fellow human being. He's breaking my heart. I don't ask you to turn yourself in. You are guaranteed immunity from arrest while you perform this generous act. Go to any doctor in the solar system, any medical organization, public or private. You will then be given 48 hours of further immunity. You will not be followed. You will not be traced by man or instrument of any kind during that period. You risk nothing, Rorschach. You can save a life. Contact any doctor or any space patrol unit, but act now. Every second is urgent. This is Buzz Corey. Cut it off, Blazer. Space... It's a trick. It has to be. Maybe. But I doubt it. Corey doesn't work that way. Oh, shut you. You weren't thinking of playing Corey's game. Yes, Blazer, I am. It's Corey's game. But the cards are mine, and it's my deal. Contact Commander Corey right now. A few moments later, at the Venus City headquarters of the Space Patrol, communication center switches an emergency spaceophone call to Buzz Corey's temporary office. The commander listens skeptically but intently as an anonymous voice dictates a bull demand. Those are Rorschach's terms, Commander. What's your answer? How do I know you're actually representing Rorschach? You don't. But for that matter, how do you know I'm not Rorschach? All right, let's not argue that. Why does Rorschach insist that I meet him personally out in space? It would save precious time if Rorschach came directly here to Venus. Any space patrol ship or commercial space line will bring him here and return him to any point in the solar system. Look, Commander, you meet Rorschach in space in the orbit of Neptune's second moon, or not at all. Come, Corey, a man's life is at stake, remember? All right, I accept Rorschach's terms. Give me the space coordinates, I'll blast off immediately. Swiftly, the precious hours fly by, and Buzz and Happy hurtle toward the distant rendezvous point, with the Terra 5 accelerating at a rate barely under the threshold of physical and mental endurance. Finally, as they near the orbit of Neptune's second moon, the scanning beam of the viewscope fixes upon a small object in free fall. It's a private cruiser, Class C, Commander, and according to the vector computer, it's right at the rendezvous point. I'll cut acceleration. It's a relief. Now, let's see if we can contact that cruiser. Commander Corey aboard Terra 5, holding private cruiser in Sector 4, orbit of Neptune moon number 2. Space Patrol battle cruiser Terra 5, Commander Corey here, acknowledge. Private cruiser M208, Commander Corey. This is Theodore Rorschach. You made good time. You need every second of it. When we join airlocks, be ready to come aboard. Just a minute. You come aboard my ship. All right, it doesn't matter. And one more thing. I'm not to be followed or traced for 48 hours. Does that promise still hold? Yes, I give you my word. In less than three minutes after I come aboard, you can be on your way. A man's life is in danger, Rorschach. Let's not waste any more time. All right, Commander. Join airlocks. More shot out. The nerve of that guy giving you orders. That's just me. Stand by to join airlines. A few moments later, the Terra 5 was joined to the cruiser by the magnetic coupler. Taking the medical kit, Buzz and Happy passed through the airlocks into Rorschach's ship. Welcome aboard, Commander. You're Theodore Rorschach, is that right? Right. Description fits. You'll know for sure when we run a test of your blood sample. Roll up your right sleeve. Sure. Mind telling me who's raiding all this fuss over a spider bite? Is it the Secretary General? It's a space patrol agent. He'd make the same effort to save anybody's life, even yours. Mm. All right, have take over. Give me your arm, Rorschach. Now, don't worry. This isn't going to hurt at all. Just you two are handling the whole thing, eh? Nobody else is in your ship? He wanted to save time by bringing Panagrew along. But he's, he's too ill to move. Now, hold still, Rorschach. This will all be over in five seconds. Go over right now. Get your hands up, both of you. Hey, what's going hey, don't on? Don't move, Cadet, or I'll drop you with a rig. What's the idea, Rorschach? Keep him covered, Glazer. The idea is this, Commander. You got a lot of information that can be of use to me. Space patrol code, methods of operation, cases under investigation, and stuff like that. You think I'm going to tell you anything? You better. You expect to get back to Venus in time. Keep talking for a couple of hours, and we'll let you go. There isn't time. Can't you understand? No use talking to you. <laughs> I told him not to move. <laughs> How's that, Rorschach? One, two, just like that. Cut this ship loose from the Terra 5 and blast off. And Corey comes to, we'll have plenty of time to make him talk. We'll return to Space Patrol in just a moment. Say, Space Patrollers, how are you at magic? You like to astonish your friends and family with real neat tricks? Well, here's a great one for you. And so simple, I can teach you how to do it in just about one minute. 
Here's what you do. Pour out a big, frosty cold glass of milk. Now just drop in two spoonfuls of Nestle's Quick. Twirl your spoon in the glass and presto! Like magic, you have the richest, most delicious chocolate milk ever made. Yes, sir, it's real magic because Nestle's Quick makes itself. Yes, sir, it's the only chocolate milk that needs no beating, no shaking. It's the only one that mixes instantly and completely and stays mixed until you've drunk up the very last drop. And believe me, gang, it's the only one that gives you sensational rich flavor just like Nestle's chocolate bars. And boy, does that taste like a million. And say, here's another part to this trick. Yes, sir, you can make quick disappear just like that. You want to know how that's done? Easy. Once you taste the cosmic flavor of Nestle's Quick, you'll drink it down so fast, it'll actually vanish before your eyes. Now, wouldn't you like to be a magician and have this sensational chocolate milk for your meals and snacks? Well, all you have to do is remember that Nestle's Quick does the trick. That's Q-U-I-K, Quick. It comes in the big brown and yellow can, and it's magic. So ask Mom to bring home some today and save the special premium panel from the side of the quick label. It's going to come in handy real soon. And now back to our space patrol adventure, the Red Demon of Venus. Rendering Buzz and Happy unconscious with a ray gun, Rorschach and his accomplice, Glazer, pulled their space cruiser away from the Terra 5 and blasted off into space. Feeling secure that Commander Corey has already given Space Patrol units orders not to try to trace Rorschach for 48 hours, the true criminals have taken Buzz and Appy to a hideout on Neptune's third moon. Right now, Rorschach stands over them as the Space Patrollers regain consciousness. Now listen, you're where no one will find you. You're on Neptune's third moon. Rorschach, listen to me. There's a man on Venus with only a few hours to live. Shut up! He's a Space Patrol agent. I don't care whether he lives or not. But if you care, you better talk. Glazer! No. Come here. Let's get to work. Oh, they, they come around, huh? Now get this, Corey. Your only chance to save this pal of yours is to start talking. Give us the space patrol codes and all that other stuff I mentioned. Come on, give! If you keep us here, one man loses his life. Tanagir. If we reveal space patrol secrets, we'd use them to destroy many innocent people. So you wouldn't talk to save Tenegru, eh? No, even if we did talk, you wouldn't keep your promise. The study. We'll put them in the study. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Open the door, Glazer. All right, you two, get moving. Go on inside. Uh, When you decide to be reasonable, and I'm sure you will, you'll find an alarm button near the door. Just press it and we'll let you out. Now, get in... So this is the study. It looks harmless enough to me, just a bare room. Yes, yeah, lined with metal. All ceiling and floor. Oh, this must be the alarm button Rorschach mentioned. I wonder what's supposed to happen to make us talk. Oh, I know. Uh, keeping us here without food or water. Maybe, but that's a slow method. Rorschach knows he's got less than 48 hours before the space patrol starts searching for us. Sure, but nobody knows we're on the third moon of Neptune. No, but when the search begins, it'll start from our ship. Unless Rorschach destroys it, still in free fall around the number two moon. The space patrol will search all the moons, probably with special attention to number three. Why, sir? It's the only Neptune moon with atmosphere. Hear that? Yes, sir. Sounds like some sort of a pump. Notice anything about the air in here? Now that you mention it, it's sort of hard to breathe. That they're pumping the air out of the chamber. They're making a vacuum in here. We've only got two choices. Press the alarm button or, or suffocate. Don't intend to do either one. Yeah, if we can't break out. No. Perhaps let's see if we can find the outlet valve, the place where the air is being drawn out of here. Yeah, there won't be long now, Rorschach. They'll be ringing that alarm bell pretty quick. Uh, sure. I don't care how brave a man is. When he can't breathe, he gets panicky. He'd give anything for one lung full of air. Well, they don't ring a bell. Maybe I better step up the pump. Yeah, yeah. Rorschach, look. Look at the gauge. Hey, it's nearly to zero. No one could live in that chamber. Why, the fools, the stubborn, stupid fools. Maybe the alarm didn't work. Glazer, shut off that pump. Shut it off, Glazer. Sure. Now, let's open the chamber. They still may be alive. All 
Hurry up, Glacier. Get the door open. We got to revive them and make them talk. There, I've got it. Now, in there. And drag them out. Hurry. Drop them happy. Uh, yes, sir. Wow. Laser hadn't dropped with that last punch out of folding. Uh, Rorschach took the last I had. That air sure feels good. Oh, my lungs are burning. Rorschach must have a space phone here. We've got to win back when we'll notify Venus City Hospital. Oh. Hey, Commander, Laser's coming too. Watch him. Yes, sir. You guys aren't human. It was almost a vacuum in here. Oh, not quite. We found the outlet vent and stopped it up with my belt. The vacuum was just in the pipe, not in the chamber. Hey, Commander, there goes Rorschach out the door. I'll go after him. Keep an eye on Glazer. Better yet? <clears throat> okay, that'll hold him. Come on, Hap. There he goes. He's heading for that shed. They have weapons in there. We've got to catch him. He's inside. Try the door. Oh, he locked it. It's a rickety looking door. One kick ought to break it. Now, come on. All right, Rorschach. Where are you? He must be hiding behind one of these stacks of cases. We'll find him. Come on out, Rorschach. You're just making things tougher on yourself. Now watch your step back. Thanks, a lot. Yes, sir. Wait, Hal. You stay here. I'll go behind those cases. If he makes a run for it, nail him. Right. Better hold it, Commander. There he is. Don't come any closer. I'm warning you. I'll blow you to bits. Quit bluffing, Rorschach. I'm not bluffing. You know what this is in my hand? I'll tell you. It's a mining bomb. By turning this dial, I can set it to go off in 30 seconds. Or as little as five seconds. Don't fool around with that. Are you crazy? Not in the least. Now, don't worry. I won't press the timer button unless you force me to. Careful, Commander. One more step and I'll wear the regulator to five seconds and press the timer. Now, I intend to walk out of here holding the bomb, of course, and get into my spaceship. Stay right where you are if you want to live. Gee, Commander, it isn't even a case of us or him. It's us and him. Yeah, the cadet is right, Corey. You won't gain a thing if you try to stop me. All right, Rorschach. There'll be another time. I'll take my chances on that. Goodbye, gentlemen. Ah, oh, The floor gave away. Get him quick, Hap. Uh, All right, Rorschach, get up. I can't. I'm cut. My legs cut. Well, just take it easy. We'll pull you out. What happened to the bomb? Where is it? I dropped it through the hole in the floor when the plank gave away. Listen. Uh, there's something down there. Uh, under the flooring. Why? The bomb. I must have pressed the timer when I fell. Smoking rockets. We've got to get out of here in a don't few seconds. Don't leave me here. Please don't leave me here. Get me out. Happy, grab his other arm and pull. Yes, sir. Oh, he's really stuck. Oh, once more, Happy. Oh. Yeah, that does it. Get him out of here. Hurry. Oh. Head for that ditch, Hap. Yes, sir. Come on, Rorschach. Oh. Hit the dirt. Go. <coughs> Oh, we made it. You're okay, Rorschach. Get your face out of the dirt. Hey, look. Look where the shed was. There's nothing but a big hole. All right, Hap, get Glazer. We're blasting off for Venus. With their captives aboard Rorschach's private cruiser, Buzz and Happy blast off from Neptune's third moon and chart a vector for Venus. After making sure Rorschach and Glazer are securely bound in the compartment of the midship, Happy goes forward to the control section where Buzz is completing a spacophone call. Very good, Major. Proceed as directed. Corey out. Contacted Venus yet, Commander? Yes. State Patrol Headquarters of Venus City is going to have Dr. Bryce call me. Gee, this sure is a slow old trait. We'll never get to Venus at this rate. I've got news for you, Hap. Neptune Patrol Unit recovered Terra 5 from free fall. We'll meet it at the Neptune orbit and transfer aboard. Oh, great. Ah, but even at that, we'll never make that 18-hour deadline. Dr. Bryce at Venus City Hospital calling Commander Corey aboard private cruiser N-208. Commander Corey here. How's Tanner Grew? He's still alive, Commander, but he's steadily growing weaker. Doctor, how much time? Frankly, I can't say. If it wasn't for Tanner Grew's rugged constitution and will to live, well, it would have all been over hours ago. He's got to hang on. He's got to. Doctor, do anything you can. I'm sorry, Commander, but there's nothing more we can do until you get here with Rorschach. All right, Doctor. You'll make it. Hurry on. 
Even aboard the far swifter Terra 5, the voyage to Venus seems endless. At last, the ship roars through the space lock of the Venus City spaceport. Then, at the hospital, comes the most agonizing eternity of all for Buzz and Happy. There is nothing to do but wait. Finally, the door opens. And a moment later, they stand looking down at a pale, exhausted man. Sure good to see you, Commander. Cadet. Uh, you're looking fine, Tanner. Yes, Tanner. Doc Price says you'll be up and around in a day or so. Huh? You bet. And I'm going to help you round up the leader of that Venus gang. Well, uh, I'm afraid that's all. Right. Commander, you promised. I know. You've already got the big shot. You have? I suppose I ought to be glad. I sure wanted to have a hand. Well, you did. Uh, the hand that was bitten by the spider. <laughs> what? Now, that means that if you hadn't been bitten, we never would have started searching for another victim of the Red Demon of Venus. We'd never have found Rorschach. You mean Rorschach? Is yep, it? he's the head man. We found evidence on his spaceship. And he's confessed. He told us he was in the Venus marshes five years ago, setting up the gang, and the spider got him. In just a moment, a preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure brought to you by Rice Checks and Wheat Checks, the bite-sized cereals in the red and white checkerboard packages. <laughs> Ever take a taste test, Space Patrollers? Well, man, oh, man, it sure is fun when it's checks you're taste testing. How do I know? Well, I just took one. First, I tested them with sugar and cream. Mmm, mmm, super keen taste. Then I added fruit. <whistles> super neat taste. Next, I tried them right out of the red and white checkerboard package. That was the snack test. And checks, rice or wheat for snacks just can't be beat. Yes, sir, gang, I rate checks tops for taste. And you'll rate them tops, too. Next, I tried them for size. Bite size is the just right size. Just right for your spoon, just right for delicious, easy eating. Checks, rice or wheat tops for size? Ah, oh, you bet. And as for get up and go, gang, have yourself a good nourishing breakfast with rice checks or wheat checks, and you'll be rated tops for get up and go. So, Space Patrollers, you take the Rice Checks Wheat Checks taste test today. And I'm positive you'll agree, checks rate tops three ways. For taste, for size, for get up and go. Rice Checks Wheat Checks. The cereals with the super swell free Space Patrol trading card inside the red and white checkerboard package. And now, a preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure. Buzz and Happy, exploring a wooded section of Mars, have just seen two men in strange, primitive masks holding a girl as captive. As the two space patrollers move to rescue her, Happy falls into a pit covered with branches and leaves. Are you hurt, Happy? No, sir. Here, give me a hand. I'll pull you out. Yes, sir. I can't quite reach it. I'll lie down on the edge of the pit. There. Now, that's fine, sir. Not now I can... Hey, Commander, look out! What's the matter? Look behind you. There's a man in a mask, and he's got a spear at your back. Be sure to join us next week for the thrilling story, The Mystery of the Masked Martians. <laughs> Space Patrol, created by Mike Moser, starring Ed Kemmerer as Commander Corey and Lynn Osborne as Cadet Happy, was written by Lou Houston, produced and directed by Larry Robertson, executive producer Mike Devery. <laughs> Other players were Norman Jolly, Ken Mayer, and Baylor Kovac. Stick to Fell speaking. <laughs> Now, don't forget to tune in next Saturday and every Saturday for exciting action on Space Patrol! <laughs> Space Patrol was brought to you today by Nestle's Quick for the greatest tasting chocolate milk and those famous Nestle's chocolate bars. <laughs> Be sure to see another exciting Space Patrol program on your local ABC television station. Consult your newspaper for time and channel. This program is broadcast to our armed forces overseas through the worldwide facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. Space Patrol came to you transcribed from Hollywood. This is ABC Radio Network. <laughs>